What's up, babies? It's your new dad. Not here today. Uh, this is actually going to be a keeb stream. Um, so, like, sorry about it. <laughs> um, today, we're going to be building for the one and only Space Force, everyone's favorite streamer. Um, we are building him. I got it right down here. He hasn't even seen this yet. Now, he's seen, like, the, uh, like, he ordered it. He has had it shipped to me, but, uh, uh, he hasn't actually seen the product. Um, so let me move to my other camera, which should, yep, show you the desk. We have some key switches for him. Exciting. No, some hardware. Crazy. But, oh boy. This mic uh, arm doesn't like me. It tried to run away. <laughs> We've got the... KBD pad Mark II. So it is an all aluminum housing uh, uh, numpad. Uh, what he will be using for it is actually to replace the uh, macro pad that he has. And they sent you a cool little sticker too from Divinity, which is where it was ordered from. Uh, you got a brass plate over here, which is good because any other kind of plate is not as good. That's my own personal preference there. And then we have your PCB, which is very nice. It's a really good looking PCB. Yeah, buddy. So, um, does not have, that's awkward. So it has a reset for when we're going to flash this at some point, but it doesn't actually have a, um, doesn't actually have a reset like a spot where you can hit reset through the bottom of the case. Um, so I'm going to have to look at exactly how this mounts before we get that going. Um, now, as far as getting everything prepped, uh, we're going to put all the switches onto the plate, and then we're going to start messing around with uh, the stabilizers for the larger keys. Get all these out. Uh, Space Force has chosen for this. The, I don't know how well this is going to focus for you. I might have to hold it up over here. Yeah, not great. But anyway, they are Kale Box Jades. So they are a clicky switch using a click bar. Some of you are cringing. I think it sounds pretty damn good. But I go with clickies on a full keyboard. Not something this strong. Um, but for macro pad, I think there's a great... So uh, we're going to get all these mounted just because it's going to look real nice and that makes me happy. Uh, we're going to just push them into this plate. Now what's nice about brass plates is that they're rigid enough and we're not going to bend the plate at all when we push these in. Um, with some aluminum plates that I've worked with, just pushing these in has actually bent the plate and I've had to go and bend the plate back actually uh, to be able to line it up with the PCB. Not going to be a problem here because it's brass like it should be. I'm a very strong supporter of brass plates, just in case uh, you guys couldn't tell. I realized I was doing this kind of off to the side, so I wasn't like, the mic wasn't in the way, but then at the same time, it's off to the side from where uh, you can actually see uh, on the uh, downward facing camera. Which this is like a, like I set this up in like five minutes kind of setup. Also, Heather, I saw you redeemed one point. What the hell are you doing here? Go see Chewy. Unless Chewy's there too, in which case, hey Chewy, happy birthday. Thanks. Getting all these boys clicked in. I gotta say, Andy, very good choice. I think that these jades are going to be fantastic on this bad boy oh he's making me hydrate i'm technically getting myself dehydrated but i'm having some coffee because i'm uh i'm kind of feeling it today this uh past week was the first week i was back at work after my quarantine um and it was a rough one it really was i uh i've been sleeping really well after that So then, uh, Andy, do you think you're going to come pick this up today, or when would you like to swing through for this bad boy? 
You don't have to answer now. Just be thinking about it. <laughs> mm, how does this... I don't know which direction it's going to want the switches facing for those two. Let me pull this out and take a peek. Oh, Lord. Why is there so many options? Not why are there. Why is there? Great googly moogly. Yo, oh, yeah, anytime's good, man. Well, I mean, obviously, let me have it finished, but anytime it's done, anytime once it's done is good. Okay. So, pretty sure there are a lot of options for where switches can go on this PCB, so we're gonna double check that that placement was good. That placement was good. It's, oh, it is. Is it happy with that? Come on now. Yeah, I love, it sounds like a crinkling noise just because as I'm pushing all of the uh, switches are, are uh, clicking. Okay, awesome. Oh, there's one that pushed back through. What are you doing? Uh-huh. 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 That one keeps popping back out, and I, uh, cannot tell you why. There we go. Try seeding all these bad boys again. And it fits perfect. Yeah, man, I'll be here. Okay. So next step is actually uh, the layout that he is going with for this um, requires stabilizers. So I have two already uh, modified stabilizers that are going to be going in here. So we'll get those out. Come on now. There's one. There's another. I need to find screws. Those are my screws. It also doesn't give me instructions for any of this, which uh, I do not appreciate, but um, should be easy enough to figure out. Give me a lot of screws. Let me see real quick if there are actually instructions that they provide, but they just don't send them with it or something. I just want to make sure that I do this right. I don't want to fuck up his stuff. Mm -mm. Hmm. Nope. Nothing. Mm hmm. Okay, apparently there is. Yeah, the assembly, assembly instructions are literally just, like, install stabs. <laughs> like, like, that's it. Doesn't actually give any, like, true instructions. Incredible. All right. So we went with the uh, superior stabilizer. Which are cherry plate mount. Well, actually, honestly, um... Do rock plate mount are the best, but we out here using uh some genuine cherry or genuine GMK uh cherry style stabs. Where are my yeah? Hmm. 
mostly because at one point stabilizers were almost impossible to find. So I uh, just said YOLO and ordered a bunch from the one place I could find that had uh, screw-ins on stock. So these first two stabilizers, I'm just going to get installed. And then the last stabilizer, I'll actually go through the modding process so everyone can see that. Uh, you will, Taco. I actually have stabs for you here. So you do not worry about need to worry about grabbing those. Unless you want like fancy Duroc ones or something like that. Um, Novel Keys actually has some really fancy stabilizers right now. They're red. Um, but as far as your build, no, I will already have stabilizers provided for you. All right. Are these what they want me to use? Doesn't seem right, but it's what they provided. That's what they want me to use. So actually, I'm going to take those big honking silver screws out. I'm going to put these little low profile black ones in because they look a lot nicer. Yeah, I was actually uh, real careful when I was getting out the uh, stabilizers for this that um, I set a bag aside for you so that I didn't touch them. Like, basically, they just aren't even in stock right now. Like, for me, like in my parts, I'm telling my brain, no, th those are reserved. <laughs> no one touched them. I do plan on the um, next full build I do, I want to get some of the Duroc uh, screw and stabilizers. Um, they seem pretty dang nice. They look good. Not that you ever see your stabilizers. In fact, buying stabilizers for look is like buying toilet paper for how it tastes. Like It's, it's just not something that actually matters. Okay, those are on. So now it comes for one of the most annoying parts of any build, um, which is modifying stabilizers. If you disagree with me, you're probably right, but I, uh, I don't think it's a good time. Um, so I'm gonna get out my super lube. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm going to get out my cry tox, which is hiding from me. Give me just a second. So I have recently changed my policy on modifying stabilizers um, due to some new information that was presented to me. Um, still kind of the basis of uh, what I'm going to be doing here is that anywhere metal touches plastic, I'm going to use super lube um, or dielectric grease. Um, then anywhere that plastic is touching plastic, I'm going to be using uh, it's GPL 205 grade zero, which is you know, Crytox 205 grade zero, which is tribosis. Uh, I don't remember which tribosis it is because I don't use, I don't buy the tribosis branded one. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. Now, on stabilizers, there is a little kind of prongy guy that hangs down low from the bottom of it. Uh, Cherry did that back when they thought that it would help stabilize the actual um, stabilizer when it hit the PCB. 
Um, all it's managed to do is make a lot of noise. So we're going to take some flush cutters and we're going to clip those bits off so that the bottom of the stabilizer is now totally flat. So we're just going to have a flat bit smacking the actual PCB. Now, if this was a like full on like keyboard, like a like a full sized and you're actually be typing on it, um, another thing I would do is I would band-aid mod the stabilizers, um, which actually is what would interact with flattening out um, this part. Um, there is an argument to be made that if I've already clipped the stabilizer, there's no need to band-aid mod it. Um, but from my experience, I have found that I like the Band-Aid mod. I like it to Band-Aid, um, as some would say. Um, no one says that. Don't say that. Please, God, don't say that. Um, I'm not going to on this because at the end of the day, uh, it doesn't really matter. And it's not like you're going to be typing on this. Uh, you're just going to be pressing a singular key at a time. Um as if that's not what typing is as well, just a little bit faster. But the, the, the slow part is what gets me, is what I'm going for here. Um, so yeah, we're, we're not gonna do that. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take the housing for the stabilizer. I keep wanting to hold it up to this camera, but there's this camera up here too. So I'm gonna take the housing of the stabilizer, which is in this hand, and I'm gonna lubricate the inside of it. So then when the stem of it is in there, it uh, is lubricated you feel me so for that I'm gonna get a nice little smattering of my crytox I'll put that in the housing you really don't need as much as you think you would I will say, uh, after watching a couple of very popular keyboard content creators' uh, instruction videos, I uh, I think that they're over lubing their stabs and under lubing their switches just a little bit. But that's my personal opinion, and let's be honest, what the hell do I know? Which one of these did I actually put lube on? I set them down and lost track. This one. I lubricated this one. That's embarrassing. I just don't have very much light in here, so I couldn't find it. Okay. So, we're going to put our stems in the housings. Which is something every other time I've modified uh, these guys I've forgotten to do. What do I know, Space Force? I can't tell if that's a you saying you, like, I know something in, like, regards to me saying, what do I know? Or are you saying, you know something? And then you're going to say more. I'm sorry, I can't read that through the comment. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop that cap really loudly. Uh, once you've dropped the cap really loudly, I am going to take my super lube. I'm going to take my uh, stabilizer wire. Yes. I'm going to put it down into the super lube so that I am lubricating just a little bit past the bend of the wire. I'll wipe off that little bit of excess. It is going to look like there's way more uh, on there than there should be. Just because, like, on a key switch, it kind of hides in the nooks and grannies and stuff. But on here, it's just like, yo, what's up? My name's Lube. How you doing? So I'm going to put that right in there. I'm going to... Snap it back into the housing. Then I'm going to take my other stabilizer. I'm going to do the exact same thing. 
Thanks. Come on now. There we go. And ta-da! One modified stabilizer. Now the reason that's so annoying on a full build is because you have to do like a lot of those. Um, so now that that is modified. I try to get two more screws out of this baggie. Looks like I'm gonna get three. I don't want three. Just want two. It's the fight of the century. I got two. Look at me, I'm amazing. Yo, excess for fifteen isn't bad. Also, Heather, seriously, what are you doing here? Go hang out with Chewy. Install our third stabilizer. I'm going to breathe heavily into the mic by accident. All right, we got three stabs installed. Our uh, our screwdriver is rolling away, and now we are going to put that like that. That's a satisfying noise, it really is. Nice. Um, I'm gonna get my soldering iron heated up. Well, my soldering iron's warming up. I'm going to open up the case. Use some very long screws. Um, like any time that works for you, my guy. I'm home all night. Uh, I'm gonna stream at some point, but like, you just tell me when you're gonna be here. Yo, you tell me a time. You're the one that's got stuff you gotta plan around. You are my stuff that I'm planning around. Go to a slightly larger Phillips. You know, for the for the double zero to the zero. Yeah, six thirty is perfect, dude. Okay, so that's just a giant hunking piece of aluminum. I love it. Uh, it just goes in by those four. Cool. I feel like they sent me a lot of extra screws. Which normally is like really terrifying, but in this case, I mean, th there's literally nowhere else that they would go. So I'm not worried about it. It's not like, you know, I've, I forgot some very important step and this is all going to go downhill. Like it just, I, I, they just sent a bunch of extra screws. I have set my phone down somewhere. And I don't know where it is. <laughs> 10 cents for each screw. Oh no, all good man, you can have them. Yeah, I don't know where my phone is. Oh, I found it. And I'm stupid. It was right next to me, which I probably could have guessed. Ugh. Okay. Oh, did I grab solder? I did. Let's unspool some of this. Set it to the side. So everything's lining up nicely, which means we can go ahead. 
ahead and get these switches soldered on. So soldering on these switches is what will actually connect the plate in the PCB. This one is very, very close to the uh, USB-C connector, and I always hate that. It always worries me. I've never had an issue with that, but it just makes me nervous. Just one of those things. Um, Andy, also, when you get here tonight, if you have a minute uh, to hang around, we can get your... Um, we can uh, program all of this for you. I really need to get a fume extractor. Thinking this is all these uh smoke from the uh, fluxes. Uh no, I still need keycaps. That's really all I'm missing. But it's been a uh it's been a rough couple weeks paycheck wise, so I'm uh waiting on getting those. So a uh, friend of the stream actually, yo, good job, Hador. Friend of the stream actually is a uh, building fume extractor for himself, like he's three D printing it. Um, and so I've actually spoken with him about. Uh, is she, so today's Chewie's birthday, and she's in town. Um, so I feel like she's like with him they might just have the stream going in the background or something which would make sense I know that most of the time like if I'm streaming with Chewy she'll put our streams on in the background and just like continue living her life There we go, yeah. That's the explanation I expected. But also at the same time, you guys need to do something way more interesting. Because uh, if you're actually here, like, watching, then, like, I, uh, I'm really sorry for you. Just double checking. Everything's actually soldered in. Everything got kind of weird down towards the bottom, especially with the stabilizers. So there we go. There's what it looks like all 
solder it in, hold it up here to the good camera. That's pretty neat. Um, what I'm going to do right now is actually grab a USB-C cable and, uh, or no, 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 because no, you, you and I will flash it when you get here. Um, no, no, I'll, I'll get the right firmware put on it at least. So let me grab a USB-C. And actually, uh, the only one I think that I have near me is the one from the uh, uh, NK65 entry. So this is a, uh, it's not really a build I'm working on right now, but it is a keyboard I'm working on right now. Um, Andy helped me procure this. Um, yeah, you, let's be fair, you shouldn't pay attention like ever. I'm not that entertaining. Um, but it is a gold polycarbonate case. Uh, I'm going to be using Duroc. I think it's T2s in here. Um, I've got most of them in already. I uh, need to modify four more and uh, slap them in. But it comes with a USB-C. So I uh, I need to find very cheap, very uh, easy to obtain key switches to put in this bad boy. I already have an idea of which ones I'm going to get. I just... Uh, Kind of lazy. I think I actually sent you a link for him, Andy. Just because we were talking about it at one point. Okay. Let me plug this sucker in. So the reason I'm doing this now is because... Uh... Oh, okay, there's red underglow. Um... The reason I'm doing this now is because, uh, uh, I'm stupid. No, it's not because I'm stupid. It's because I, sorry, there's only, um, the reset button you can't reach. That's why did I do that? I knew that that would happen. The reset button you can't reach if, uh, it's in the case. So I'm going to get the right firmware flashed onto it, and then uh, whenever you're here, Andy will actually get everything set on it for you. So let me... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's, uh... That's not what I wanted. Hmm. Hmm. One now. The hell? Well, let's see if it shows up on via already. That would be very nice. I am not hopeful. Oh, it did already. Yo, sick. Okay, so it's already flashed with via firmware. So I'm actually going to detach it from the PC. And we will get it installed in Z case. Oh, I see now. I'm a, I'm a little silly Billy. I was looking at it and I was like, I don't understand how um, it looked like it was gonna mount on both the bottom and top of the case. Uh, no, it's called that I didn't pay attention and uh, there aren't actually screw holes on the bottom of the case. So we'll get these screws. I don't think that. That uh, bit is actually, is this not magnetic? I thought it was, oh well. Okay, let's get this bad boy screwed in. Which might take a year and a half because these are the longest damn screws I've ever seen. Try to get it to where you guys can still kind of see what's going on. So Andy, are you playing Exodus tonight? You said? Yo, good job, Hazor, redeeming one point.
All right, that's in there pretty solid. Uh, now I'm going to go up to a larger screwdriver. I know that that excites all of you quite a bit. And two more screws, please. I really thought that these screwdrivers, um, well, okay. So the screwdriver bits might actually be magnetic uh, and these screws might just be non-ferrous is the issue. Which is believable. Unfortunate, but believable. All right, three out of four installed. Oh, come on. I need new screwdrivers. I've basically completely stopped using my iFixit toolkit for PC builds and everything just because like all my other screwdrivers are better. X. That is just a solid piece of aluminum right there. So now we'll get oh my Get this back screwed on. I just realized I haven't had music or anything playing this entire stream. Whoops. I feel like you guys have been relatively entertained. I've only been streaming, well my stream's been live for 42 minutes, but five of that was a splash screen. So it only took us 37 minutes to like take a quick look at it, modify a stabilizer, get everything thrown in the case, like firmware was already the correct thing, like this is a Feels like, you know, right when I said everything was going well. Feels like wobbly in the case. That's weird. What uh, I'm worried might have happened is that, because they sent me like 4,000 of both types of screws. I'm worried that it might have wanted me to use the little black screws and not the long silver screws. Long silver screws are what the case is actually like held together with. So it made sense that that's what would, uh, that is what would work for the plate. But. Yeah, man, the plate feels like it's moving a tiny bit. That's odd. So I'm going to unscrew this and try seeing if uh, the little black screws work. You might remember the little black screws as the screws that we use to put the stabilizers in. It's slightly annoying that there's literally zero documentation for any of this. We're just kind of doing our thing out here. Go back down to the double zero.
Okay, I think we're supposed to use little black screws. Well, would have been nice if something said that. But no, here we are. I think it's because the um, the silver screws are made to be uh, to go in something where uh, the spot for the screw is countersunk to the actual surface. So there's a tiny bit of a gap between the top of the threads and a part of the um, uh, plate, or sorry, not part of the plate, between the threads and the uh, actual head of the screw. Or these little black screws. Yeah, it's, I need to use the black screws for this. Uh, the little black screws are a completely flat base of the screw head. Nice, and the little black screws are ferrous, which is really nice. Yo, look at this man out here. He was in the emote. What a guy. What a dude. What a legend. Okay. Now to screw all this back together again somewhere. Yo, this thing is nice, Andy. You're really gonna like it. And it is solid. Not gonna lie, my guy, I'm a little bit jealous. So right now it looks kind of odd because like, you know, the green doesn't really go with the rest of it, but there is a remedy for that. Oh no, I'm, uh, I'm coming to the realization that I didn't separate any of these out ahead of time. Oh boy, we're going to be sorting through some keycaps. I mean, I've wanted one of these. That's how I knew about it, to show it to you. Um, I've actually been looking at um, this. The guy who designed this collaborated with KBD fans on... Hmm, on a, a full-size keyboard. And... I've been looking at that quite a bit as a build I could do here at some point. I really should have separated these out beforehand. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Uh... Yo, I'm stupid. Ooh. Booga booga, come on. Come on now. Where's my keycap puller? Also, I'm so used to not having a numpad now. Like, I forget what order the numpad curves go in. I'm not a smart man. But, uh, I never claim to be. Okay. Number three. 
Good lord. Really should have separated these out first. I'm, again, very stupid. <laughs> Come on. There's none of those. That's a minus. I think that's that guy. Hold on. Let me pull up actually this exact key set so I can confirm. Uh, my orders. Yada, 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 yada. Uh huh. Print the meat. Okay, yeah, that is a minus. It goes right there. This is a multiplication scheme. It goes right there. How exciting. That's a split space, which we do not need. Desk is six. Desk windows key, which we do not need. Desk is nine. We do need that. Des and enter, which we do need. And scroll lock. Why am I like this? Des and num lock. That goes up top. Uh huh. Calculator. No pause. No alt. You know, I think actually this uh, is a very tiny backslash that we need. Yeah, yeah, it's divide. So we're looking for a plus. Like that. Those actually sound. Like relatively nice. A one. What are you missing? Four and five. There's a four. Oh well, four five in the delete or decimal, which is right there. Oh, and like you know, the other media keys. So I think the only media key left is mute. Apparently is one of like the last three switches in here. Meet mute. And yo, did I just oh the five isn't marked. So there it is. Yo, those sound really good actually. Like as far as clickies go, that's uh that's pretty nice right there. That that's, that's, that's I like that. Um I'll say for some reason the zero's sticking, which I don't understand. Um, might be something up with the stabilizer. I'll open it up here in a bit and check that out. Um, that's one of those things where like you can't really know that until you get to the end. Um, so I'll figure out what's up with that. I'll get it fixed. Should be pretty easy. Worst thing, like worst case scenario, I just throw a new one new stabilizer on there and we're good to go. Um, I had a stabilizer on my wooden keyboard that stuck for a little bit. Um, I just used it a whole hell of a lot and things went back to normal. So honestly, that might be the issue is, uh, oh, well, it's working now. Yeah. That might've just been the issue. Let me, uh, I got this figure eight mic now. Let me try this.
Yo, those actually sound really good. Like, like really, really good. And this thing is clean as hell. Like, let me actually get this view up. This thing looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it looks real nice. Oh, boy. There we go. Yeah. So, anyway, here we are. KBD pad Mark II. Says it on the back. It, uh... That's just fun. That's really fun. So, uh, Andy, it's ready to be picked up. Oh, no. I forgot the most important part. We got to put the little rubber feeties on the back. <laughs> so, I'll throw those on, and then this will truly be done um that one stabilizer i was talking about that was sticking um or i thought it might be a stabilizer that was sticking um well as you literally just saw i just used it a few more times lube got kind of worked around and it's fine now um and that's the same thing i have it with all my keyboards before so no soldering no soldering what No, no soldering the, uh, to change out stabilizers. Yeah, yeah, I won't need to do that. And there's a little bit of residue on the back there. Just got it off. Beautiful. We got the little feety guys. Now it won't slide around your desk like crazy. Oh no, I had to solder. I had to solder all the switches on. Yo, this is addictive. I'm not even going to lie to you. Yo, I'm, yo, don't come pick this up today. I just want to press all these switches a whole bunch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that was pretty quick. Um, there weren't that many that needed to be done. Um, you do have a bunch of extra switches I can send with you. It would be amazing. You know, just to have them and just... That's a good noise right there, too. Got all those, and then wait. Yeah, yeah. These are just loud switches all the way around if you're just holding them or if they're actually going. So, um... That's all I'm going to do as far as streaming for right now. Uh, I got this bad boy all ready. Andy, uh, ready to be picked up whenever you want to come and get it. Um, I'll be here all day. You just tell me when you're going to be here. Well, you already said 6.30, so like, I'll see you at about 6.30. Anyway, um, if anyone wants one of these things, let me know. I can get you hooked up, and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, I'm not being awkward finding the end stream button. That's not what's happening right now. Uh, everyone, everyone keep it real.